I'm gonna be completely honest. This is a video that I never thought I was gonna have to make and I'm not just gonna beat around the bush to it. Uh, just to go out right and say it, Crappy Man Jigs is almost to the point where I'm gonna have to shut it down and you know, go back to work. A lot of things happened in the past two or three months. A lot of things slowed down, whether you believe it or not. YouTube doesn't pay me pretty much anything to make videos to begin with. So all my income comes from Crappy Man Jigs. And it's just slowed down a lot. A lot of stuff has happened, you know, at home and a lot of stuff with the vehicle. As y'all seen in the past videos, we got another vehicle, but that really put me in a bind etc etc so reality i'm about 1400 bucks in the hole on a lot of things but the way i figure it up if i can muster up about 600 i can stay in business until next month and you know things will probably pick up during the fall by and i'll be kicking until next year i hope you know this is a passion of mine a dream of mine to keep this going so how do I get out of this bind, you ask? And that's why we've got these. I can tell if I've got 24 of these boxes, which I haven't counted them yet, then I could sell them for 25 a piece, which would be $5 off, you know, and that would be exactly 600 bucks. And I could pay a couple bills with that. And we're gonna keep on trucking. So I'm about to count them up, let's see got done counting i've got a starter box that's already sold so i can't do that one um we've got 18 boxes so that's gonna leave me ugh, like 100 150 short on the boxes but that's fine you know that that'll catch up uh one or two bills so that that that's fine we're gonna do this we, we're gonna grind this out you know I don't mind going back to work, but it's not something on my top priority right now. You know, I, I got a lot of people that count on these jigs. I got a lot of, a lot of people that, I mean, a lot of you guys that's watching it count on these jigs. So we about to make this happen. So in order to do this, I mean, why, why would you just buy a normal box? We, we got to make a special box. We, we got to, we got to put some, some, some good stuff in it, right? <laughs> that's why you're going to buy it, right? Oh. So let's go to the drawing board and see what we're gonna put in these boxes. I'm gonna grind it out today. So whenever you order this box, it is going to be shipped the next day. Now this box, now if you order other jigs with it, it may take a, a day or two. You know, I'm, I'm always behind on something, but I'm always, you know, but I'm gonna make all these boxes today. So if you order a box, it will be shipped. But if you order other things with the box, it may take a day or two to be shipped. We could do, let's think of a new color that I don't sell. Let's see. Yeah, that's a pretty highly requested one. So on this one, we're gonna do a Cajun Cricket, which is gonna be Crappy Man Orange and Crappy Man Green. So that's gonna be your Cajun Cricket. For your third color, that's an exclusive I do not sell uh bait fish is very pr predominant this time of year so we will do a new bait fish color here we'll do like a golden shiner so we'll make a golden shiner and this one and we'll also do a golden shiner up here also So we'll do Golden Shiner Minnow here and Golden Shiner Stinker here. And then we'll do a Monkey Milk Minnow here. So we need two more slots. <clears throat> We've got one Stinker, one Stabber, one, two, three, four Minnow colors. So let's see what would be an exclusive here could do beavers maybe no 
Beavers are good, but not as good in the fall. Beavers are more like your brush pile bait. Let's see. The stinker's really good. We, yeah, I mean, we can do a crappy man green stinker here. Because that is really my go-to when they don't want to bite in the fall. And for the last one, let's see. I mean, that's two. I guess we got to do a stabber. I mean, it's going to be an all-around kit. It's not just going to be a minnow kit. Like, I love to throw swim baits in there, but I only own one of the, mo the, one of the molds. And like I said, 18 shots would take a, take a while. Now I'm actually shooting color shift swim baits now from the orders from the past week and it's taken a pretty good while so what stabber color can we do i don't know we'll we'll, we'll figure it out when it gets there we'll, we'll do a double color stabber for the last one so what we've got we've got crappy man green minnow monkey milk minnow a golden shiner minnow which we've got to create a golden shiner stinker the color shift that we just created uh in the past couple of videos uh we're gonna do the stabber in it we're gonna do a crappy man green and a crappy man orange cajun cricket uh minnow a crappy man green stinker and we're gonna do a double color stabber i just haven't figured out which one and then 124 and 132s we're working on one of the first new colors for this box for you guys. This is what I've come up with for gold and shiner. I really wanted something see-through. Kind of like gold flakes in it. But also have all the other colors of the shiner itself. So let's, let's pour this right here and see what it looks like in the minnow. But what I got, I've got gold flake, uh, blue flake a uh, hollow flake and a, a little bit of gold highlight powder so all right so let's see what this gonna look like i'm hoping like it'll have like a translucent lucent effect to it which from what I see is doing exactly what I want it to do. It's going to be a clear water killer. Like it's going to have just enough gold sheen but be clear. If that makes sense. I'm going to let these set up and we'll take a look at them. Pop it out of the mold. Let's get up here. Yeah. I was doing exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted the whole jig to be gold, but see-through at the same time. I'm trying to get a good light on that for y'all. Yeah, that's crazy. But yeah, if you look at the jig, it looks gold. But it's really, really like see-through. Yeah, that's awesome. That definitely represents a pretty good shad, gizzard shad, uh, golden shad Im imitation. <laughs> oh, so now we got to do 18 shots of those. So let's get to it. We're, we're going to get these boxes filled up for you guys. Oh, I'm hoping, I'm hoping y'all are going to like these boxes. Like I said, I, I don't get me wrong, I'm a blue collar raised, born and red. I worked at a plant for 12 years of my life. Hated almost every single day of it. My wife gave me this opportunity and I hate for crap to just get hard and have to go back to that life. You know what I mean? Like, I, I know 90, 99% of the people watching this video, y'all are clocking in every day and all that, which I do, I do a lot of hours. Like these boxes are gonna take me at least six or seven hours to make, so. I don't know. I don't like asking for money. I'd rather put in the work to earn the money. If, if, if that makes sense. I don't even know if these boxes are going to sell. But it's a risk I'm willing to take to put in just that much effort 
and hopefully it pays off and if it doesn't it doesn't i'll be clocking in with you guys next week <laughs> what i have decided to do you know looking at our little blueprint i guess you know we were going to do a two color stabber what i really think that would help people out this time of year honestly would be that cajun color so while i shoot the cajun minnows i'm also going to shoot the cajun stabbers at the same time so you'll get two cajuns so everything comes up you're going to get two of everything but monkey milk and color shift which those are kind of you know a color that you know has, has a time and place everything else can be used pretty much year round that's what I'm going for. I got the dual injector ready. We're gonna shoot those. I made probably 200 124s this morning. And I gotta make some 32s. Put everything together and the boxes should be ready to go. Like this video is gonna come out on a Wednesday and they should be ready to go like you, you can buy them as soon as the video comes out. They should be in the mail Friday as the latest. <laughs> at least like I just got to put everything together. Uh, we've shot pretty much the majority of it. I'll show you the color shift stabbers. I don't really talk about stabbers too much on this channel. But check that out. <clears throat> you go from the dark to the light. It, this is a very good jig. It just doesn't get used as much as the minnow. Like it's, it's in my rotation. I just I don't use it as much as I should probably. But let's go ahead and shoot this uh, Cajun cricket. So not only do we have the brightest orange that you can find, we've got the brightest chartreuse that you can find in Crappy Man Orange and Crappy Man Green. So let's combine them. Add a little black flake to the orange to make it a Cajun spicy. Now let's make some Cajun cricket. Here we go. Dropping the dang camera. That's one. Two. Three. Four. We're gonna shoot a little stabber over here. Put them out. And guys, I'm telling you, I've been in this game a long time. Long time. This is what the stabbers look like. Let's put them on the light. You got a chartreuse bottom, orange top. Let's go to a darker, darker view. this one is a lot i guess because there's not a lot of plastic that goes into these as much as the minnows but this is a totally different cajun then look at look at this masterpiece guys look at i mean dude i don't know why i ain't done this in, since i've i've started doing this look at this <laughs> look at that color oh we're dropping them that is crazy this camera does not give this justice yeah about about right there I'm trying to get as much justice if you i mean if y'all hear the fan i'm sorry but it's hot that is a sick cajun color like i, I don't i don't know how to get the best the best look of it oh let me put put these some of these boxes together uh i don't know if i can finish it for this video because i got to edit and get it out because like i said this, my stuff is due like friday so hopefully <laughs> hopefully we can get there guys uh i'm gonna put one together and we'll, let's check let's check it out let's take a look at this box we've got it all set up everything but the 132 ounce i have it uh done those yet so those, those will be cooking here in a minute <laughs> but it's gonna take me 
an hour or two to edit this video, so bear with me. But check it out. So in the first corner, we've got Crappy Man Green Little Minnow. A Monkey Milk Little Minnow. Let's set this puppy in there, right? And we've got the new color, Golden Shiner Little Minnow. The Golden Shiner Stinker. We've got a Color Shift Stabber. A Cajun Cricket Stabber. Cajun Cricket Minnow. Dang, that color looks good. A 132 ounce that ain't there. Crappy Man Green Little Stinker. 124 ounce round head jig heads freshly made this morning with a size 4 hook. So that's it guys. That's the kit. And you know anybody that purchased this kit I just really want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Let's keep this dream alive. Let's keep making these awesome baits. Let's keep going out here teaching you guys how to catch these crappy. Showing you guys how to catch these crappy. I'm going to be out on the water soon. You know, I want... There, there's a little dilemma I'm going through right now as far as the will to want to get out on the water. But... Oh, well, we, we, we've we been out there a couple times here. But uh, the biting ain't too good right now. But I really do appreciate it and shout out to everybody. Like, let's keep the stream alive. And if not, we don't. And I still thank every single one of you. You know? There's been hundreds, if not thousands and thousands of fish that's been caught on these baits that we have made the past three, four years. And that's just awesome. But, no, oh, not gonna sit here and think about it too much because I might get a little emotional and y'all don't wanna see that. But subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Hit that thumbs up button for me.